Morning. Um, another busy day at the sanctuary. Um, I'm here on my own this weekend as Fiona's gone down to the Bristol Veg Fest to um, obviously go to the festival and try and obviously gain some publicity for the work that she does and um, she's hopefully doing a talk on Sunday. A uh, busy day here because we're having the mucky taken away today um, which is a gargantuan effort and so I've got to put the horses out in the fields um, first time this year whilst, well not the first time this year actually, they've been out before, first time since it's been, you know, the grass has grown um, so the big machinery can come in and um, pick up the muck so um, I'm off to put them out now so I'm going to film that because that's usually quite fun it's a beautiful day, completely idyllic here apart from all the work that I've got to do which is less than idyllic so here are the gang waiting to uh, have a big surprise to go out in the field right, I'm just opening the gate and um, they've cottoned on already that something's up and uh, here they come it's a bit wet in the bottom of the school there but uh, Oh, goes Major, followed by Shibka, then Dream and Pegasus, Bo, the gang leader, Borish, Leopold, Angel, Well, the horses have all calmed down, which is good. They're all like munching away on the grass. And this is the, uh, the mucky that needs to be taken away. Now this was last taken away in about February. Obviously not this particular heap because that one was taken away. This is what's been accumulated since February. Um, so quite, <laughs> quite an extensive pile, as you can see. Um, but obviously this is the problem with having lots of animals, they generate considerable volumes of manure. So obviously mucking the stables out every day and um, scraping the yards down and piling it all up here. It's actually, I've sculpted this to be a mini, mini version of the um, a Hindu Kush. It is actually um, one 750th thousand scale model. Even that bit, even that bit there. So the tractors and digger vehicles will be here in a minute. I'm just trying to give you some idea of the scale of the, of the pile. Somebody once suggested we could move it with wheelbarrows. Um, I think they're now. Um, sections. Well, it's uh, 12 o'clock noon and uh, the muck heap has gone and some of the other horses have come out to check out the area with me. Hello. Uh, as you can see, muck heap gone. Which is quite amazing really. It took actually five, actually six of them big truckloads to get rid of it all. Tiny bit at the back which we don't bother to move each time but um, there we have it. So we can obviously... Um, start that up again. That will have cost about £500 to have that taken away. 
um, but obviously it's absolutely essential work to have done um, because you know, you're not allowed to have muck heaps that just sit there and stagnate, you need to get rid of them. That's gone up the road to be spread on some fields and obviously it'll be um, a bloody good source of fertiliser to be honest. But, um, um, meanwhile the, um, the horse gang have come up to see what's going on up here and they're doing their best to polish off as much of the grass as possible before it's time to come in. So um, these guys in the school now are the ones that are in the stables as they've got access to the hay troughs now and a bit of daily exercise. I don't want them all out in the field because you know there'll be too much um, too much excitement. They'll take it in turns in these different groups to go out there. In the summer we'll probably integrate them all together. Um, although this this weekend probably is the summer, isn't it? It's probably going to start raining again on Monday and then nights will be drawing in and uh, next thing you know it'll be Christmas. Anyway, thanks for watching.